This is what they're teaching your children in school today. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I just wanted to do a quick video on this right here. This is what they are teaching your children in school today. Okay? You see it right there. Butt plugs, dildos, you know, DQs. Chicago School Dean offers insight into sex education lessons for children and kids. Okay, so it says here the children in a classroom where the sex toy incident took place said were said to be between 14 and 18 years old. Okay. You see. Let's read this. Joseph Bruno, uh, Dean of Students at Francis W. Parker School in Chicago, has been accused of bragging about allowing an LGBTQ center to give sex toys to his students. You see that? So this is what they're doing in order to get insight into sex education for kids. This is what they're doing. Okay. Come on, man. So it says a video secretly recorded and then this uh, this uh, cemented online by activist group Project Veritas Veritas appears to show Bruno talking about how the LGBTQ Health Center were passing around butt plugs and dildos to his students and talking about queer sex topics such as using lube versus spit. This is sickening, man. You know? Let's get some scriptures. But this 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 is what they're teaching in school. This is what they're teaching your your children in school. This is what they're allowing to be done in your schools. Isaiah chapter 13 verse 17 Okay Isaiah chapter 13 verse 17 Behold I will stir up the Medes against them Who are the modern day Medes? Okay well originally the Medes which were you know Japhetic people they predominantly in, in, um, inherited and, and uh, habitated the areas where you see Russia today. Okay, now I have maps showing it, but I don't need to pull them up. But basically, Russia is dwelling in the areas where predominantly the Medes used to dwell at. Okay, so in today's time, the Medes will be the Russians. That, that will be your modern day Medes today. Your modern day Medes will be the Russians. So behold, I will stir up the Medes, the Russians, against them. Now back in the ancient world, who were the Medes known for being stirred up against? Uh, uh, Babylon, which is the United States of America, which Babylon is one of those three ribs in, in the bear's mouth spoken of in Daniel the seventh chapter. Okay, Babylon is, is one of 
those three ribs okay but it says which shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it so the Russians they're not going to de delight in silver or gold okay you think they're going to care about money they're already uh, uh, edging to 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 um get away from the United States dollar when it comes to oil trade verse 18 their bows shall dash the young men to pieces this is talking about when Russia invades America okay their bows which is their guns shall dash the young men to pieces they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eyes shall not spare children so they're not going to have any mercy on any of you women that are pregnant here in America especially you Israelite women which are you so called Negro Latino and Native Indian women they're not going to have any mercy on you okay they're going to put you to death even if you are pregnant you're going to they, they, they're going to murder you okay you and you Israelite men which are you so called Negro Latino and Native Indian men that are up to two thirds Russians are going to murder you and they're also going to kill off the, these Edomites these self proclaimed white people here in America that's what these Russians are going to do and Babylon which is the United States of America the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and what was ancient Sodom and Gomorrah known for? Sodomy. Okay. Uh, uh, they was known for having drag queens there. You know, transformers. Okay, they uh, women, women, uh, women with women. You know, you no know, uh, bestiality, pedophilia, uh, incest. All that stuff was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? Men men having sex with their mothers and their sisters, you know? Okay, they was having sex with, with their aunties. Just, just all manner of wickedness, okay? Fathers ha having sex with their sons, their daughters, their sisters, just, just sickening, right? Their mothers, just all manner of abominations was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah okay so how did the Lord overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah by fire and brimstone okay and that the fire and brimstone would be what the world calls meteorites the Lord rained meteorites on ancient Sodom and Gomorrah okay because of the wickedness of that place okay it says it shall never be inhabited neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there so after this con so the modern day fire and brimstone is going to come in the form of those intercontinental ballistic missiles which can carry up to multiple nuclear warheads okay so this country according to biblical prophecy is going to be destroyed by 200 million nuclear warheads and after the post nuclear destruction of this place it shall never be inhabited all right let's just click on it it shall never be inhabited neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there so this country will never be inhabited after the fire and smoke go out on this country it will never be inhabited ever again but wild beasts of the desert, sh desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there. So this place is going to be full of desert creatures. Why? Because this country is going to be one big desert. And the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come. Her times shall not be prolonged. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 18 verse 6 okay Let's see verse 4 Let's see it's fine and it's become a habit let's click on this okay revelation chapter 18 verse 2 it says and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, 
Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, meaning what? Is destroyed, is destroyed, and it's become the habitation of devils. And that that word devils talking about uh, desert-like creatures that will fall under the uh, the um the the uh, a fibidoid, a fibidoid, a family. Like the, the in other words, the lizard-like family, okay? Like snakes, lizards, amphibians. You know, desert-like creatures with, with with scales that 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 can survive in the desert, like rattlesnakes, lizards, amphibians. So it has become the um the um habitation of devils. Okay, satires. That's another one. Satires are, are fall under the uh, the amphibitoid family. Okay, has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul. Every foul spirit, okay, cacatrices, um, ostriches, um, what else? What else could live out in the desert? Um, you know, coyotes, um, vultures, okay, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, okay, you know, vultures, hawks. You know, so this place is going to be inhabited by desert like creatures, man. The, the Lord is going to make this place into a desert, and it's going to come from the post nuclear destruction, which is going to take place during World War III when Russia and all of these other countries, which will hate America in that day, when they all shoot their intercontinent, intercontinental ballistic missiles on this country. Jeremiah 50, verse 14. Okay. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. What is the bow talking about? The bow represents the silos in which the intercontinental ballistic missiles sit in. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. Why? What are the arrows talking about? The arrows is talking about, is the arrows is a metaphor for intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay? Spare no arrows. For she have sinned against the Lord, right? And how, one of the ways on how America have sinned against the Lord is this this shit right here, okay? Jeremiah chapter fifty one verse one, okay. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. And that destroying wind is going to come from the explosion of those nuclear warheads. And Babylon is the United States of America. Verse 2. And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Okay. And what's the day of trouble? The day of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Because during Jacob's trouble there's going to be a nuclear war. And during that nuclear war this country is going to be destroyed. Okay, and, and what the what happens when you fan a flame? Okay, when you when, when when you fan a flame, the flame spreads quicker and it becomes more intense. Okay. Now let's skip down to verse eleven, Jeremiah chapter fifty one, verse eleven. Okay, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes, okay, the Russians, for his device against Babylon, what device? That intercontin those intercontinental ballistic missiles is against Babylon. For his device is against Babylon, which is the United States of America, to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 14. Let's skip down to 16. Okay. Jeremiah 54 verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith. Now back in the ancient world, a smith was known for making weapons. Making weapons of war, making shields, making armor. In today's time, your smith will be the scientists who are responsible for splitting the atom and making weapons of mass destruction. Such as atomic bombs, nuclear bombs, nuclear warheads etc etc 
Behold, I have created the scientist that blow up the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And that's what a waster do. A waster destroys. And that waster is going to be those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay, now let's go to Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. Okay, Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, which the Lord had promised to destroy this country. Also, this is talking about the promise concerning the promise which Yahweh had made to our forefather Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, concerning the kingdom of heaven and, and being delivered from these, these chains of darkness and, and to a glor glorified body. Well, we, we will no longer have to worry about the, the wickedness and the bullshit that that you know uh, of this kingdom you know being lord's will if we be of the elect you know we're hoping to be of the elect you know we, we get delivered we get those glorious bodies so we no longer have to worry about the filthy wickedness that goes on down here so the lord is not slack concerning his promise as men some men count slackness but is long suffering to us upward not not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance and, and only the elect is going to repent in these last days okay but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. What great noise? The great noise from the sound of nuclear warheads exploding, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What heat? They say that did they say that the heat from the explosion of a nuclear warhead can reach nearly as the same temperature as the surface of the sun. So that that's extremely hot. And when you look up the word fervent, it means extremely hot. So the elements shall melt with extremely hot heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So the, the heat from those intense nuclear warheads are, are going to be so hot that it's literally going to melt everything you see around you. Okay? It's going to melt everything that you see around you. You know, the, the, the street signs, the vehicles, the bikes, the sidewalks, the streets, you name it. It's going to melt everything. So this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the inhabitants. The Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Okay, and guess what? If you're participating in this, you're fighting against Jerusalem. Okay? Because this 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 is this will be considered a, a, a spiritual attack. Because this right here is attack on morality. You see? That's attack on morality. So 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 you 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 targeting our art because who who pre, who predominantly lives in Chicago Israelites, okay predominantly the uh, Southern tribe Judah Benjamin and Levi. So you you're you you're giving our children all these butt plugs and all and doing all this weirdo shit, right? So so you you're attacking the morality uh, uh, of of the children of our people. So the Lord's going to smite all those that have fought against Jerusalem, okay. The Lord, the Lord is also going to attack the uh, the Heavenly Father is also is also coming after the LGBTQ community as well. The Lord is coming after you. The Lord is not with that. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And what's going to melt their flesh? Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The Sarah O'Connor dream that she had. Well, well, she saw the nuclear destruction and her flesh literally consumed from off her body. Okay. So that gives you a good idea of how people, people's uh, uh, flesh is going to, your flesh is going to melt on you. That means your skin is going to melt. And then after your skin melt, you're going to feel the white meat underneath your skin melting. Okay? And, and you know how painful that's going to be? But that's going to be the judgment for a wicked soul. That's going to be the judgment for a wicked soul. And their eyes shall consume away in their whole soul. Not only is you going to be not only is gonna not only is you gonna feel the body not only is you gonna feel the skin on, on, on your body melting but you're gonna be blinded you're gonna be blinded so you're gonna be seeing pitch blackness while you're feeling the intense heat 
just melt your body. It says, and their tongues, it says, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So their tongue is going to consume away in their mouth. Now let's go to Isaiah chapter 34, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 1. Okay. Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. Okay. Verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Because during World War III, there's going to be a great slaughter over there. A great slaughter. It's going to consist of of military men from all nations participating in the war over there. The slain shall also be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountains shall be melted with their blood because there's going to be so many dead bodies over there that is literally going to reek of death and there's going to be puddles of blood, pools of blood everywhere. So much dead people there's going to be. How many dead soldiers there's, there's going to be over there. All the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. How? Through, through the intense heat of nuclear warheads exploding. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, the mushroom clouds. When a nuclear warhead explodes, all you see is the mushroom cloud spreading out amongst the sky like a scroll. Okay? And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from off the vine, and as the uh, and as uh, a, a falling fig from the fig tree. Okay? For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, because that's what it the, the sword is a metaphor for intercontinental ballistic missiles okay because when, when, when an intercontinental ballistic missile goes up the the, uh, the first priority of an intercontinental ballistic missile when it is shot off is what it is to go up in the sky right it is to go up into the sky and then up into where the ozone layer of the air is on the up into the ozone layer of where the earth is and then while it's up into so-called space uh, underneath the, 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 the Van Allen's belt, it travels around the globe to their destination. Once they, get their, once they get to their destination, they fall back down to the earth where the head of the capsule of the intercontinental ballistic missile comes off and multiple nuclear warheads rain out of that, uh, out of that intercontinental ballistic missile. And wherever those nuclear warheads land, they explode at ground zero creating mushroom clouds and and, and cre creating massive huge explosions of, of fire pure hot fire and radiation okay so it says for my sword and also leaving behind mushroom clouds for my sword shall be bathed in heaven behold it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Okay, and Idumia is talking about uh, uh, predominantly here in America because America is predominantly inhabited by Idumia. So, yeah, man, Lord's will soon, man. This country is gonna is gonna be hit with the the modern day fire and brimstone which is going to come in the form of intercontinental ballistic missiles. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.